Today I want to talk about the world beyond trading and share with you three tips that helped me increase my productivity this summer. Because if you don't already know, it's an undeniable truth that your discipline outside of trading in your day-to-day -day life is directly correlated to your growth in your trading journey. So by knowing this, let's get straight into it. Tip number one, avoid morning dopamine. Look, over the last couple of years, I've realized that if I start my day by reaching to my phone, just checking my messages, social media, scrolling mindlessly through TikTok, that the likelihood of my day being productive actually diminishes like exponentially. Let me picture it like this. Imagine having your day planned to analyze the markets and execute potential trade setups. Like that's your goal for the day. If you then decide to start the day by just mindlessly scrolling on your phone, you're essentially just giving away your fresh energy in the morning to your silly screen. On the other hand, if you decide to start the day by just diving right into your productive task with a clear, fresh morning mind, then your focus level will boost like exponentially. It makes sense, I know, it makes sense to you, but you're probably still doing it. And I'm not saying that you can't wake up and check your productive task for the day or anything related to that. I'm just saying that if you find yourself aimlessly opening apps, just searching for a quick dopamine fix, so you, you will feel amazed, that's when you need to close the app and tell yourself that you're a little bitch and just get fucking work. So that's a little tip that I recently just applied in my life. So just wake up before you do anything else. Just do something productive after making your bed and brushing your teeth, of course. But after that, just do something productive. One task, just it can take like 5, 10, 20 or even an hour. And after that, only after that, you can give your phone some attention. Believe me, it's a real game changer. And that brings us to my tip number two, and that is strive for smart work, not just for hard work. The volume of work you put in does not necessarily equalize the amount of productivity you actually deliver. In my personal opinion, it's about what you actually accomplish and how you do it, the way you complete these tasks. If you're like me, you've probably also fallen into the trap that's called productive procrastination. It's a trap where you engage in activities that feel like they're productive, but actually they're just distractions from the real work you got to do. A good example would be motivational or trading videos. You feel like you're learning something by just watching there, but actually genuine learning happens by doing 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 taking action the least thing you could do while watching a youtube video that's productive is just taking notes for future reference and something that can really help for this is a notion template that i've recently been using that's really fixing my life it's making my life so much simpler i know what i gotta do and it's just laid out in front of me it's called a second brain and i'll link it down in the description i'll explain in short terms what it actually does so basically it categorizes your life into areas projects and tasks so basically areas are the overarching uh, pillars of your life which means for me it's personally content creation trading my business startup uh, self-improvement health those are your like your main things in your life and then you attach projects to those areas so for example for self-improvements i do a project called um, read five books this summer or for content creation is make um, one uh, short form content per day and then to those projects you attach tasks so for example your project would be read five books this summer then a task would be for today read 15 pages of one book but the most important thing is that these tasks should be smart which means specific achievable measurable and time bound and i'm not even kidding this clarity can skyrocket your productivity and bring yourself some sort of calm knowing exactly what you need to do in order to achieve your goals and that brings us to my last tip which is embrace your failures let me ask you a question do you want to reach your goals and be successful like this really how can it be fun that way if i could choose to be successful tomorrow out of luck or in 10 years after a lot a lot of hard work and sacrifice i would definitely pick the second option how would you have some kind of honor or respect with yourself and enjoy your life if you know that you didn't do anything for it i made a lot a lot of mistakes in my past and i'm still making mistakes every single day every single day i can at least name one thing that i regret the next day it can be a comment that i said in public that i regret a day later it can be fomo during a trade it can be something like a task i didn't complete but why do i make these mistakes is because i'm at least trying because how can you make mistakes if you don't do anything if you're making mistakes try to embrace them and blame no one else except you 
adapt yourself. I understand now that making mistakes and seeking to be uncomfortable is the only way to level up in life, to better yourself and just improve in general, because by making those mistakes, you will eventually stack those all up and hopefully learn from those mistakes and be responsible for your own mistakes. And that's the only way that you will exponentially grow your life. So just keep doing and experience these mistakes. Just let them sink in. It's all good. Making mistakes is good. And even if you have no clear direction in your life, just start by doing something. And eventually with those mistakes you make, you'll actually know what you want to do in life. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell. Join my Discord in the link down below. And just have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.